Mm -hmm. Oh, Chubbs, are you winning? Yeah. Yeah, are you winning? Yeah. What do you win if you win? An egg. An egg? Egg. Are you going to eat it? Yeah. 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 What, what's your army called, huh, huh Chubbs? Everblight. Ever, ever what? Everblight. Oh, yeah, that's cute. That's a Hey, Chubby Chubbs. Yeah. Are you winning? Yeah. Good. I'm glad you're winning. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a war beast. <laughs> war beast. I'm a war beast. Ever since I've been doing this, I feel a lot better about myself. I'm not beating myself up for being who I am, for looking the way I, I do. I mean, I'm taking baby steps into becoming more healthy. But I mean, I mean baby steps, like super baby steps. Like, I only have lost any weight according to the scale and if this is week six no seven this is week seven so uh... super baby steps but i feel like that's the healthiest way to do it and if you've been watching these since the beginning i hope that you feel a little bit better about yourself too and if this is your first time joining me welcome if you want to you can watch my other six of these I feel like. I have my previous six. But you don't have to. That's the beauty of these vlogs. You can just jump in whenever you want to. I would just like to say that it makes me and Chubbs really sad when we we bump into like pro anorexic blogs on the internet. It makes Chubbs and I really sad, doesn't it Chubbs? And we wish that people like that could just love themselves for who they are. Because you don't need to be 80 pounds for people to like you. Or for you to like yourself. I've been stuck at 150 for a long time now and I'm very okay with it. And you guys are beautiful the way you are. Right Chubbs? Chubbs thinks so too. I promise. Happy Valentine's Day! Yay! Valentine's Day! Uh, if you don't have a Valentine, then I suggest that you go find your favorite stuffed animal and ask him or her. Because I think that's a great idea. And I don't want anyone to be sad on Valentine's Day because there's no reason to be sad because if there's no one that loves you, I love you. Okay? Um. Today's going to be a busy day. I have nothing ready or planned for Julian. Um, I do plan on making, and he already knows this, and this is going to be up after Valentine's Day anyway. Um, I plan on making a homemade deep dish stuffed pizza. Cross your fingers on that one. I might take you along with the journey because I imagine there will be many fails that are going to happen. Because I don't really make stuff from scratch. I really like Valentine's Day. Because I always liked as a kid getting the Valentine's. And then putting an extra little heart sticker on the guy you liked. But he just assumed you put that on all of them. So he never knew. But I knew. I knew that there was a little extra something on that guy's Valentine. And somehow he would run to me going, oh you're so sweet, I love you. Uh, but that never happened. Did that ever happen to you, Chubby Chubs? On your Valentine's Day? Do you have... Oh, this is your first Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day, Chubby Chubs! Oh, uh, is that how you treat me on Valentine's Day? Huh? You don't even know what day it is. No? Okay, well. I'm going to begin making the dough. It took me forever to find yeast at the grocery store because they come in tiny little packets and I was looking at like the big ass things of flour and that doesn't, it's not, it's not the same thing. Right Chubby Chubs? Okay, I need to start making dough now. Dough! Oh. Okay, I have successfully done the first step, I think. Uh, uh, here look. Um, there's some yeast and flour in there and a little bit of sugar, and now it's said to put it in a warm spot, and I'm not exactly sure where that is. But later in the recipe, it says 
Set bowl in warm spot. Uh, electric oven turned to 150 for five minutes and then turned off. So is that like the same thing? Should I should I do that? It's a plastic bowl. Isn't it gonna melt? So I just turn the oven on. I just turn it on, and the heat will rise from the oven to the stove. I'm hoping, and then that will keep this warm. When I was mixing, check. Chubby Chubs just wants to be loved and to be loved in return, and to love and love and love, because he's all about Valentine's Day, huh, Chubby Chubs? Um, so I was stirring, right, with the spatula, and it looks all good, right, I except it kind of broke. I broke it. But it, it still work. You can still work it. Can you work it, Chubs? See? Oops. Michaela, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Nutella! I just want to let you know that I'm really thankful for you. And, oh wait, thankful, that's Thanksgiving. I just want to let you know that I love you very much. <laughs> oh. So, and while everything was, was simmering and resting and rising and all that stuff, I decided to find, like eight or nine um, 90s Valentines through the internet and I was posting them on all of my friends walls. I have 131 Facebook friends so it's not a lot. I like to keep my numbers low. Um, no one 31 really isn't that low for actual friends. But anyway, I was almost done posting them to everyone. Almost done. And then Facebook's like, Bam, you're spamming people. You're use you're abusing this feature. We're gonna block you from uploading shit for two days. And I'm like, really? Really, Facebook? I'm just want I just want it to be like elementary school again where everybody gets Valentine's. Even if you're the the loneliest, saddest, geekiest kid in class, you get a Valentine. At least from everyone in the class. I wanted it to be like that and I was almost done. And then it blocked me. Um, but to all those people that did get my my E Valentines, I hope you liked them. They were all 90s themed, which is pretty good. And if you didn't get one, I'm so sorry. I didn't plan it this way. I just clicked through all my friends. I didn't pick and choose. I wanted to get everyone. And I'm so pissed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I didn't really vlog much of the whole pizza process, but uh, would you like to see the almost finished one? Bam! Looks pretty good, right? I mean, for now, anyway. <laughs> I don't think I put enough cheese on it. There's only two layers. It goes cheese, or crust, cheese, sausage, pepperoni, cheese, sauce. So I hope there's enough cheese. But we're going to put the parmesan on right now if you want to watch. Hmm, yes, yeah, the parmesan. Hmm. Parmesan. How much parmesan do we want, huh? Oh, the parmesan. I just pulled it out of the oven. Do, do, do. It looks good, right? It's not burnt, and it's all fluffy, and it didn't go over the edges like I was worried about. Julian's home! He's taking pictures. I got, okay, so here, and then, okay, now you, you, happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! So, 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 Amy knows that, that my favorite pizza is the Chicago deep dish pizza, so, she made me a deep dish pizza. This is the moment of truth. We cut into it. She's a talented cook. Why do I have a feeling this isn't gonna slice? Just use a knife. That's a good idea. Wait! The knife! This and She's a bit of a psycho with a knife, but that's okay.
<laughs> oh, let's open it to see what's inside. Ooh, I see a lot of meat in there. That's totally a pizza for me. And then, and then Amy got this for Valentine's Day. She got it. It's a bouquet of cupcakes. Yeah. It's not roses, it's roses of cupcakes. That's better because you can eat them. <laughs> <laughs> inner piglet. I have an inner piglet. Yeah, that's why I got them for you. Like it has like little hearts and stuff. Amy, what are you holding? Cupcake? No, it's a rose. I mean, a rose, a, a red velvet rose. Uh. <laughs> and I didn't update my weight yesterday, so we're gonna do it now. 151. 151. And that was after like. And that was after like three cupcakes. This week is a really bad diet week. I knew this was gonna happen. What with Valentine's Day and the Super Bowl was, I think, last weekend, maybe not, but. Mem, she's using that as an excuse. Um, mostly Valentine's Day, considering I've gotten 24 cupcakes within the last 12 hours. Um, and then there's always, like, leftovers of the pizza. So, you know what? This week, fuck the diet. Next week, I hope to be more strict with myself, I guess. Um, I'm on break next week, so I'll take you to Toronto with me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that sometimes it's okay to not be as healthy as you want to be. Because really, if you're thinking a cupcake doesn't taste as good as being skinny, then you're stupid. Okay, you're not stupid. No one is actually stupid. But that's a stupid way to think. Let me just say that. Because cupcakes are delicious. Why would you ever compare a cupcake to feeling skinny? I would rather have a cupcake, even if I was really thin. Uh. You look a little dirty. Yeah. Smart versus sexy. Can't we have both? I'm gonna go with smart. You know why? Because people who are smart, I feel like, are automatically sexy. Like, how many of you would bang Sheldon from Big Bang Theory? Or any of those guys. And they're not particularly sexy in any way. But you know what? People like them a lot anyway. You know why? Because they're smart. So I picked smart. And if I picked smart, that means I'm awesome. Which makes total sense. Bam. And I'm going to do art. You know how excited I am to do art? I'm so excited! The art major in me, the artist in me, the the kindred spirit soul right here is like, ooh, Amy, you're gonna do art today. You should get really excited, and I am really excited. Like, deep down inside, I consider myself three things. Number one would be an artist, and number two would be an almost librarian, because I'm not quite a librarian yet. And number three would be a dancer. So I'm really super excited because I'm doing my number one thing today. And that's doing art. And I feel like you should do what makes you happy. And I feel like you should do what makes you you. And if that means doing whatever you like to do, then you should do it. Do, do, do. How many times can I say do in that sentence? Uh, no, I was thinking of something earlier today. Um, the more I look at the stuff and research and find people that like their bodies for what they are, um, the more I, I kind of don't want to, I don't want to get skinny. I mean, I don't want to get skinny anyway. The more I just, I want to maintain myself, you know? The more I don't care if I have flabby flabs or flabby flabs down here or flabby flabs right here because I really I accept myself for who I am and I don't want to change 
my total outward appearance just because. I mean, I still want to get healthy, but that doesn't mean I want to get skinny. Um, I say this because one of my friends on Tumblr just reblogged something from a specific Tumblr that's called 1000 Reasons to Lose Weight. And I'm not a fan. <laughs> Because there should only be one reason that you would want to lose weight, and that's for yourself. I want to lose weight for myself. And let me just, let me, let me click into this, this blog once again. Let me read some of these that really I find kind of disgusting. Reasons to lose weight. Cheekbones and tiny hips. To wake up and feel beautiful in the morning. You don't have to lose weight to feel beautiful in the morning. This one's gross. Reasons to lose weight. To only fit into small sizes and wear jean sizes between 0 and 3. That's not healthy. Unless you were born that way, to strive to become a 0 or 3 I don't think is the healthiest thing in the world. So I can shower with my future husband and feel beautiful. Your future husband won't give a damn if you're 3,000 pounds or if you're 3 pounds. Because if he, he won't love you because you're a size zero, he'll love you for who you are, not because you're skinny. This is dumb. Now I'm getting angry. To feel pretty in just of my bra and panties. I'm sure there are millions of women out there who feel sexy in their bra and panties, even if they're not size zero. If someone's saying this to you, the problem isn't you, it's your, it's your man or woman friend. To hear, you're pretty, instead of, eh, you're pretty enough. That's not even your fault, that's so dumb! So I can stop hating myself and be thin? Honey, you can probably still hate yourself if you're thin. To not have to wear sweatshirts all the time? I love wearing sweatshirts! What's wrong with sweatshirts? Even if I was 120 pounds, I would still wear sweatshirts because they're comfortable. Two words, thigh gap. I still say the only reason anyone should want to lose weight is to get healthy and to do it for yourself. Don't do it for anyone else. Do it for yourself. Don't do it for a future husband, don't do it for a boyfriend or a girlfriend, future wife, don't do it for your parents, or don't do it because you don't want to be the fat friend anymore, or whatever. Do it for yourself. This rant was brought to you today by the letter C. No, I don't know, but I, I'm done ranting. That's my Nutella. Yeah, hello. Say hello. <laughs> Points if you know what this song is from. Feel good freak out Friday. Feel good. I should really think of these before I turn the camera on. Well, feel good is I'm officially on reading... I'm officially on uh, reading, reading week. And reading week is like the Canadian spring break. Um, since... I get done with school in mid-April. It doesn't make sense to have a break in March when I'll only be in class for another few weeks. So they do it in February. Um, that also means that next week I don't really have to do anything of importance. Um, and I am going to Toronto for the latter half of it. So that'll be fun. I think I mentioned that before. I'll take you with me. <laughs> um, that was dumb. <laughs> Freak out. Freak out. I would say nothing really all that terrible happened. Um, it's not like I had to stay up really late to finish any papers. The latest I stayed up was a one. But that's like nothing to you guys. It's late to me since I go to bed at like 10. But not to you. Hold me here this air. Oh, Mared, disaired. My hair's my hair is long enough to be in a side braid ponytail. That makes me happy because it's one of my favorite hairstyles.
Do you like it? There's the chubby chubs. He smells like coconut. Ooh, like coconut. coconut. Who's a cutie?